pretty much you guys don't have to your, your guys that are that are getting out and getting dirty in the lift stations we have the change hall they, they don't have to fish one little island they've got a big hook to hook on too so that's one of our biggest points right there we have a plug and play it's a tri-voltage so it's a 208 port it's a 230 240 460 or 480 you don't have to push it through the conduit or anything we have everything integrated into one cord and you can literally plug and play and just, if you had a plug go out on you you can set it to the side bring another pump over plug it right in even if they're at different voltages so if you had a 75 horsepower motor right here a, a, a pump going if you had 125 over here you just have to have a different cord hanging right there so you just plug and play it and do it right over there. 440 heat treated stainless steel on the blades so instead of having our propeller come through here and extend with the nut right here we have a recess so it's just like a pair of scissors so pretty much you get a lot less tension if you're, if you're coming from the side you're coming like a pair of scissors and it'll keep your stability and your integrity of your parts a lot better but uh like i said i'm not going to go over harp on it too much about the parts of it i'll crank it up and i'll go ahead and let you guys see what this guy can do Everybody who's experiences the lights, the tampons, things like that, so this is just a bunch of stuff to simulate your everyday use. I've got a cleaning hose rigged up right here. At the very end, after I've done, after I've chopped up all this stuff, I'll chop that open and I'll show you exactly what it's yielded, what it's showing, what it's chopped into. This particular pump, right? What he's doing at this particular pump is what we is our NV style chopper pump. It actually can be totally submerged or totally dry. You can run this in a total dry pit, which is nice. You can see the picture right here. 
in a dry pit application where it's hard piped in, and then here is in a submersible application where it's actually fully submerged. What's nice about that, even in a submerged application on this particular pump, is that typically when you run in a uh, submersible pump, your stop point is here. That's where you want to set your floats to stop it here because you don't want this thing to go down and heat up that pump and shut it down and do any damage to it, right? This one here, you get a lot of floating debris up there. You get, you know, your greasebergs, your your, your fender products, things like that float on top. You can actually run that level down right to here, let it start cleaning out that, that lift station for you and and have less time to worry about vac trucks coming out and things like that. So you can actually run this thing down and run it dry without any damage to the motor or the pump. You can actually come up here and put your hand on this thing. It's as cool as can be. It has a glycol jacket wrapped around it right now, which is for the dry pit application. It actually runs on an independent system from the pump itself. So as you see, Come on up, guys. You can take a look at this. This stuff is clean, so it's not gonna hurt you. <laughs> um, here's all your cord. You know, if you notice, it cuts it to a point where small enough, it's gonna get past all your other pumps that's going through here. Okay. You mop. Uh, all your other pumps down downstream to get to the plant. Typically, your plant, your bar screens, your plant range anywhere from a quarter inch up to about one inch. 80 to 199% of this is gonna get caught in that bar screen. Okay, not go through the plant like a grinder pump. A grinder pump emulsifies and turns it into a mush. Okay, where's that going? It's going right into the grid chamber, right into the clarifiers, and you're working harder. Your plant's gotta work three times harder to get it cleaned out. With the bar screens in place, this thing can take everything right in place and get it all out for you. Oh, sponge is still good. It actually made it through. <laughs> okay, we'll do that again later. <laughs> so, it was a survivor too. It kept yeah. on floating. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think? Impressive. It really is. If you notice, it didn't even bog down, didn't slow down, didn't do anything. And that's only seven and a half horsepower running at 1150 RPM. Pretty small. And like you said, running in a dry application just like this, you can literally come up here and touch it, and it's just as cool as it was when yep, it started you run up. this thing forever with that application thing. Questions? Mm -hmm. That is really cool. How many units do you have installed throughout the state? Uh, throughout the whole state? Or what's the nearest one? Uh, in the NV stock.